I found out some incredible news in the last episode, but it's good news that comes at a bad time in my career, in my life. We're at the end of the season with Bayern Munich. We have a chance to win the treble today, and even though this news is great, it's, it's hard to fathom. It's hard to take in because I just have so much going on. And the news, well, if you missed the last episode, me and my girlfriend are having a kid. Yes, that's right. I'm going to be a father in the next few months. And it's great. We found out as well from the doctor it's going to be a boy as well. And I know it's quite early to be talking about this, but it makes me excited to hopefully see him play the game of football one day in the future. But honestly, it's great news. I couldn't be more excited. And now it's time to take our attention off of this and focus on the rest of this season. We'll deal with this in the next few months when it comes, when we actually have the child. But here we go. End of the season. Four games remain. Three trophies to be won. We'll start with the Bundesliga. If we win this game for Zosberg right here, we have won the title and I haven't been selected. I haven't been selected for the starting 11, which means in this game right here, which we are going to go on to win, I am going to be winning my fo first trophy, but I'm not going to be raising that trophy. And there it is. Bayern Munich seal the Bundesliga title. And even in the last game of the season in the Bundesliga, where it doesn't even matter if we win or not, we have the title secured. The manager doesn't play me yet again. It's getting a bit concerning. Yes, I've been playing Champions League games, so I have hope that I'm hopefully going to be playing in this Champions League final and even in the League Cup as well. If I'm not even playing in the last game of the season where it doesn't matter, like, I don't know what's going on, boys. Player of the competition is going to be Gabriel Jesus, and this is one of the reasons that I haven't been playing, and it's one of the reasons that I've been playing at left wing all season long here with Bayern Munich. Goalkeeper of the tournament. Goes to our keeper as well, Lopez. And here is a look at all of the top goal scorers. All of the stats you need to know as the Bundesliga season has now come to an end. Timo Werner is the top goal scorer. 31 goals for him. Incredible season. And my name, nowhere to be found as I barely played any games in the Bundesliga this year. As you guys know, the majority of games that I played came in the Champions League. And it hasn't even been that many. I want to say we played less than 10 games this season, which is incredible with how much that Bayern Munich had to buy me for. Maybe I should have stayed at Napoli, boys, but it's too late to consider that. We have some good news, though. I've accepted the contract offer with Nike, and here we go, boys. We're going to be repping them a new start, and this is definitely going to turn a lot of eyes and a lot of attention onto myself so that, hey, man, as much as I want to stay with Bayern Munich, like, if they're not going to play me, I either need to leave and join a new club via transfer or get loaned out for a season or two. But it's good to be with Nike. I'll start wearing their boots in all future games. And the money they're paying me is absolutely insane. It's going to be so sick to be a Nike athlete. Nike, whatever you guys pronounce it, however you call it. Here are the boots that we have right now. Not too many to choose from, which kind of sucks, man. In the past... FIFA's they gave us a ton more boots I'm guessing I just have to unlock them through the catalog I'll check that out in the next episode but hey at least we have the good news we're signed with Nike and it is something to look forward to man even though we're not playing it's good to, to secure the bag because you saw in the last episode what the contract was worth it's a lot of freaking money now it's time to get back out on the pitch right here the final of the League Cup in Germany and we're back on the bench. Who? I, like, I don't know what to think. Who knows? Maybe the manager is saving me for the Champions League final. That's like the only thing that I have running through my head. It could be one of the reasons why I haven't played yet this episode. But a win, my second career trophy. And it's time to prep for the Champions League final. A week remaining before this game, and it was time to get to the training grounds. Time to prepare for this match. If I want to be in the starting 11, I got to continue to perform. And, boys, it's getting to a point where, like I keep saying in these episodes, I don't know what more I need to do. I'm performing well at practice. In the games that I do play, I'm playing extremely well in A rating right here. And I was at the training grounds all night, boys. When the rest of the team would leave, I was staying there extra hours, doing extra work, extra training, 
And when I left the stadium, it was almost midnight, and my manager was waiting at my car, and he had something to say to me. And it was at this point where I thought it was good news. I thought he was going to give me his word that I'd be in the starting 11 for the final, but it was the exact opposite. He didn't want me in. And even worse, he said he wanted to loan me out next season. I just didn't have a place in this squad, and for me... That was the worst news I could have heard. I thought I earned that spot. So instead of even responding to him, I stayed silent, I got in my car, and I sped away. In a heap of fury, I was pissed. All the work I've done this year was for absolutely nothing. Three finals, and I won't be playing in any of them. In the training room, before the game, and things are just starting to kick in. I'm not gonna be playing in the Champions League final. All the hard work I've put in in training this year for the manager to snub me once again. And I'm gonna be watching from the sideline, not even on the bench, no shot to play in this competition. Manager had one word for me before the game though. And this word, oh boy, would it be special. With an apparent injury to our starting left winger, he has no other choice but to put me in. And he says that if I impress, that left wing spot could be mine for all of next season. I've impressed all year long. So who's to say I can't do it again today in the biggest game of my career, the Champions League final, Barcelona. Let's go. Honestly can't believe it. Just about two hours ago, I was expected to be on the bench, not even on the reserves. And here I am on the pitch. The game is taking place in the San Siero. We're back in Italy. And it's time to bring this trophy back to Germany and a chance to win the treble. I didn't compete in the last few Bundesliga games. I didn't compete in the League Cup, but we're here in the biggest of them all, the Champions League final, and we're taking on Messi. In my first season, Barcelona knocked us out when I played for Befic in the round of 16. In my second season with Napoli, we knocked Barcelona out in the round of 16. And in my third season, we're up against them in the final. Let's go, boys. Into this game, will we come out on top? You are about to find out here we go unfortunately i was unable to show you guys the starting 11s for both teams so you're just gonna kind of have to take a look at who is on the pitch right now and i don't think i see messi he might be out there but might be at a point in the career mode where players like messi and ronaldo are just a little bit too old and they're not in the starting 11. look at this though some great saves from both sides to start this game off 39th minutes one of my first shots of the game, it's with my weak foot and it wasn't very good right before the end of the first half. Oh no, it's Abo Ruiz. The Spanish youngster makes it 1-0 to Barca and they go in front. 1-0 as we go into the halftime break. It's just, it's just a mistake, man. He's left wide open in the middle of the park. He's through one goal and it's an easy 1v1 finish at this stage. In the Champions League, we're in the final, man. Chances like this, teams aren't going to miss. It's just players are too good. And it's Abel Ruiz of all freaking people. Slotting it home, 1-0. And so far in this first half, as things come to an end, it's been a bad one for me. I was supposed to be the one who was going to step up, fill that role at the left wing. And like I said, my manager told me if I performed well, that he wants to keep me around as the starting left winger this next upcoming season but so far i would say this is anything from a good performance from myself we need a big second half if i want to play next season 
and if we want to have any chance at winning this game, but it's Barca again. Oh my god. Oh my god, the goal line clearance. That was absolutely incredible. And it would go from a chance for Barca to a chance for us to equalize. We've done it, Champions League final debut for myself. It's a goal. I wasn't even supposed to start this game. And we're stepping up when it matters most. 1-1 is now a game, boys. And we're going to have a chance to win this thing at the end of regulation right here. Can we do it? We're actually heading straight into extra time after this, though. The 90 minutes would finish. And it wasn't a good ending. And so far in this extra time... It hasn't been good for us either. I mean, I'm getting the chances, but I'm not doing well. 105th minute now. It would take us to the second half of extra time. What is going on, boys? 1-1. No team can seem to break through. And it's looking like penalties might be how this thing finishes. Could you imagine the scenes if our season comes down to a penalty shootout? A chance for us to win the treble, but a chance for Barca to win the game. And you got to give credit to where credit is due. Our defense has been sensational in this game. The saves that our back line has made have been incredible. And that would be it for extra time. Penalties. It's going to happen. We're going to penalties. And this is going to be an interesting one for me. I've yet to take a penalty in my entire career. So today could be the day where I take my first one. And oh boy. Is it going to be an important one? Here we go. Into the penalties. Barca up first. And it's a save for our keeper. Next up, ourselves, is Bayern Munich. And it's another save. Two saves to start this penalty shootout out. And it's three saves now. What is happening? Another chance. Renato Sanchez. What a pen, boys. 1-0 to Bayern Munich. Let's go. This is what we need. Guri's mid up next, and he slots it in. Tied at one, and here we go. All we need to do is keep converting from here on out, but what are these penalties? It's a miss, and we're all tied up at one, and it's another miss from Barca. Honestly can't tell you what's going on. In the first penalty of my career, to take the lead, to go up to one. I'm aiming for the top left corner. What can we do? It's a terrible penalty. And Ter Stegen makes the save and Eriksen converts. I could have just lost us the Champions League final with that penalty right here. We need this one to go in if we want this to continue. The shot. And it's in. By the slimmest of margins, it hits off the post. And all Barca need to do is keep converting, but so do we. And it's made right here and it's going to come down to this. If we miss this, we're out. If we make it, we continue. Let's see what happens. Bayern Munich. Goretzka. Misses it. It's over. Champions League final. Treble. It's all but a dream. And the penalty shootout could have been one of the worst penalty shootouts you'll ever see from both teams. Misses after misses. Saves after saves. Barcelona come out on top. And in the Champions League final, the game where I was supposed to prove myself, prove that I belonged in this team next season. I did score the goal, but after this performance, man, I don't think I earned it. And I don't know what's gonna become of myself next season. All I know is I got a lot of work to do in the off season. I got a lot of training to do. This is such a heartbreaking loss. One of the worst losses in my career. That's all I can say. It, having to watch this team celebrate, through all the hard work that our team's put in all year. Only one thing that I can say to my manager is, why didn't you play me? If I'd have been in great form all season long, there'd have been no doubt in my mind I would have scored two or three goals that game. And all we can do is watch as Barcelona lift the Champions League final trophy.
I was the last one to leave the training room, to leave the stadium after that game. All I could think about was next season and how I'm gonna improve. I wanted to get back to the training grounds and start working right away, but I knew I had to, had to get home. In a call before I left from one of my best friends, you know him, Joao Felix. Said he watched the game, he said I played well. He said I was unlucky to lose and he wished me all the best for the future. He asked if we wanted to hook up this summer and hang out and of course I said yes, man. One of my best friends, good to get a call from him after such a tough loss. But it's time to head back to Germany, start preparing for next season. The Champions League final still on my mind. I couldn't sleep. I was too upset. Until now. Until this showed up on my phone. Instead of preparing for next season, we're gonna be preparing for the World Cup. A chance to play with Joao Felix. Represent my home country. It's about to begin. What a text. What a way to end this episode. Next episode, we're heading back to Portugal. It's time to get into the 2020 World Cup and bring this trophy back. We'll see you boys then. <laughs>